just what you want, Barry. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Barry. I'll take it. Hi, welcome to Mimi's Place. And today we're going to talk about becoming a manifesting machine. Okay, and you do it with love. So uh, there's a, you know, a thin line, a veil between what's objective and subjective. So, you know, there's a million examples. But the one I really like the most, you know, is it just makes you feel better. Okay, you do it because, man, I wish this was happening instead of that, you know. And understand the words are not important. It's the feeling behind it. So it's like the girl on the trolley that Neville Goddard speaks about. And, you know, she's all sad. Her dad's died. It's Christmas. It's cold. She, it's raining. She's on this trolley and she's starting to cry. And she don't want to cry in front of everybody on the trolley. You know? So she turns away and looks out. And the cold rain's hitting her face. And she starts telling herself, this is not, you know, cold rain in my face. This is sea salt in my face. And these are not tears. That's the salt from the sea. And, you know, that's not cold moon. It's the warm sun, you know, on my face. And I'm not here on this job. I, I, I'm in... I'm on an ocean liner, and it's great, and, and man, that feels better. And that got her to stop crying about, you know, the set that was hitting her. Okay, so then she flipped it, and it wasn't intentional. She was just wanting to feel better for a minute, you know, and not cry in front of everybody. You know, if you sit there and tell yourself, I'm not going to cry in front of everybody. You, you do. You end up crying in front of everybody. Because we don't understand the language. You know, the language. It's, you're saying, I'm not going to cry. Okay? And to cry is what comes up. Okay? And that, in imagination. That's what imagination sees. You crying. I'm not going to cry, you know, and he doesn't know you mean being happy, you know, so that's why, you know, language is that, and so what does that make you feel, you know, I'm not going to cry, you can't make me cry, no way, you know, there, now the same thing is basically being said, but you don't, you're not thinking about crying. You're thinking about, I'm tough. I'm strong. No way. Right? I'm not going to cry. You can't make me cry. I don't think that. So. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. You know, and, and think about what the nouns and the verbs. Because that's what, you know, imagination is pulling up. That's what it evokes with. You know, so this is why the latter exercise that Neville Goddard, uh, used to get people to understand that it was when and he didn't even really understand it completely that's when you turn your monkey mind off you know and you're talking to the one in your heart you're using this i am instead of this i am so you know it, and that's what makes it happen because you know you fall asleep you forget about it <laughs> now the easiest manifesting that comes easily is done in that manner consciously you can do this and it's about making people feel better you know and, and then you just want to see them so you know they feel better you know and then i hope they're feeling better if you think about them it's i hope they're feeling better i know they're great you know and if, and you know whatever you wanted to alleviate their pain and suffering you know and that's you you know it hurt you you would know 
if you were in their shoes, that would really hurt. That would really suck. You know what? I see them happy. I know it's going to be all right. I know it's going to be good. And wonderful things are going to happen for him. Somehow this is all working towards his wonderful good. Or her wonderful good. Or whatever. You know. And, you know, if it keeps coming up, you know, make a point of saying, you know, I don't know why this keeps coming into my face. You know, I forgive them for showing me that. I know everybody's better than I forgive everyone without distinction. You know, no. I know she's happy. I know that something has turned the corner and made something wonderful make her smile from her heart. You know, thank you, Father. And off you go. You're not digging into the details, trying to guess what would make them happy, or even if you know what they've told you would make them happy. Nine times out of ten, that's not true. <laughs> okay. Not unless it was in a, uh, you know, the girl talky kind of thing, you know, or the boy, you know, talky kind of thing. It's... It's that. And so when you spend all day saying, I'm not going to climb that ladder every time you think of the ladder, like Neville uh, instructed, imagination is pulling up ladder and climbing. <laughs> okay. All day long. That's what you've told it all day long. I'm climbing that ladder without realizing it because you put on, I'm not. Okay. It, it don't get that. I'm climbing that ladder. I'm climbing that ladder. Okay. <laughs> then you fall asleep. Imagine it. You climb that ladder. Climb that ladder. You just knock the nail in the coffin. Bam. Because now you talk to Pops. You shut this one off. And even when this one was on all day long, I'm not climbing that ladder. I'm not climbing that ladder. <laughs> and you're saying it with confidence because it's like, I'm going to show you, Never got her. I'm not climbing that ladder. Know. So what happens? You climb the fucking ladder. That's what. And your mental diet was to climb the ladder. You just didn't know it. Okay? So think about the feelings. You know, and it's you know, I'm not I'm not winning this fucking lottery. <laughs> I'm winning this lottery. I'm winning this lottery. I am not winning this lottery. I'm not winning this lottery. Yeah, right, you know, that's an affirmation, but what's the feeling behind it? Is it, I'm not feeling, feeling it, right? So it's, yeah, I'm not winning that lottery. You know, okay, you won't win that one. Okay. But if it's, I'm not winning that lottery, you know, I dare you to show me I win that lottery. I'm not winning that lottery. <laughs> And if, and if it comes up, I'm not winning that lottery. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to get to fix up this place. Like, I'm going to get to, you know, get the new roof. And I'm going to get the painting. And I'm going to get the, you know, new beds. And I'm going to get all this stuff, right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> That's imagining. You know? It is. Think about it. You know, that's how people do it. That doesn't understand negative. Negative doesn't exist for them. They don't get it. Okay? It's when you, I'm not going to slap her. You're slapping her. Okay? I'm not going to fool around with her. You're fooling around with her. <laughs> you know? Think about how you're saying it. There are times when you're saying, that's never going to happen. And I'm walking away. No, 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 no. I don't think so. You know, nobody thinks like that. What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I love that. Anyways, it's about recognizing you know, first learning how you think, 
learning that these laws are principles, they're laws, they're not just, you know, things you mull about once in a while. And then the difference in prayers, okay, so there's the prayer with great emotion and feeling, you know, you've had enough. And you throw that emotion and feeling into it. And then, um, I mean, that that really gets going. <laughs> and you've wake, woken up everybody when you do that. What? Yeah. Okay, okay, we gotta fix this. Yeah, let's get this right. And she's been trying to steer the ship by herself. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you guys. You know, I just want to go that way. Okay. You know, there's that, there's the um, law of liberty, you know, which is, which is what that is, now I need to be freed from this, you know, and then there's the um, natural way that's been confused with going to silence, uh, people talk about meditating every day, and they've been told different ways to meditate, listening to bells, or gong chimes or counting your breaths or all this other stuff you know and that's not getting your mind silent okay it's not so you get your mind silent silent give a tenth of your moments a tenth of the day you know to god by being silent you're just silent you're just hanging like him this is dying. Is that good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm imitating my daddy. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Shush, shush, shush. Okay. <laughs> you get yourself silent. Okay, that's commute. what the love generation would call communing. You're communing with nature. You're communing with. God, okay, and the way you do that is just going to silence. Then you bring up the aspects of God. Now, the love generation, the what we call the baby boomers today, would have told you that that's communing with nature. Okay, this is what Emerson and Thoreau wrote about communing with nature. The problem is the veil okay and they don't realize that man is part of that too <laughs> okay so as soon as they left the solitude of nature and went back to the city and got amongst people again and, <laughs> and you know and you can tell by the way they died you died of tuberculosis I'm sorry you didn't get rid of all your demons you know you, you didn't so you do it from a love perspective, you know, and this is where a lot of people get upset with me. And it's like, you know, I know you love me, Father, and you have a perfect life planned out for me already. I know that. Okay. I really like that guy. I, I love him. Okay. And I just want him to be happy and, and if I want to see him happy I would like that to be with me but that doesn't really matter I really want to see him and everybody happy if he can be happy with me that would be great but if it's not I know there's somebody else somebody who will love me the way I am so, I love you, Father. I know if it's not him, there's somebody better. But please, please, I really want him to be happy. You know, thank you for making him happy. Or whoever. Your friend is in financial need. Oh, thank you, Father, for helping, you know, Joe. He really needs it. Thank you. You know. I love seeing him happy, no stress, you know, everything's great, you know, and, and you're doing it because it, 
it pains you to see them otherwise. Okay? It, it, it pains you. <laughs> That's how you win friends and influence people without influencing anybody. You don't influence anybody. You choose. It's like with COVID. You know, um, the uh, governments, the state quote-unquote authority want you to wear masks and think you're too stupid. That's, that's how they see the people. They see people? No. They see human resources. And it's evident in their response. Now, you could say, well, Rita, you know, what you see is what you get. No, I'm stepping back and looking at it. That's their response. It doesn't matter what side of the coin you're on, Republican, Democrat, whatever. That's the response. You're too stupid to know to choose the way I think. So I have to make the environment be you will automatically choose to believe like me. It's not going to make you because you have free will to choose what you will think and what you will believe. This is your free will choice. And it really comes down, are you going to believe what's in your heart or are you going to believe them? You know? And you forgive them because they're just teachers teaching you, showing you what you believe. You know, they came out of God too. And it was his son, the human imagination that shaped him, filled him up with your thoughts, came out of your prayers. You know, most people are very superficial about these laws. Oh, if I think about money, I'll get, I'll start vibrating money and I'll get money. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, they all want to be happy. Even a poor tailor deserves happiness. So it's about spreading the love, okay? When grumpy guy across the street, you know, comes out and you smile away at him, you know, and you go talk to him, you know, and he starts telling you about this, that, or the other. Well, you know what? No, Ray didn't get laid off. I, don't, I, I know Ray. He's the greatest. I know he's He's gonna have another job like that. No way. He's he's such a treasure. Everybody loves Ray. You know. <laughs> and you know, next thing you, you know, you hear that Ray got a job. You know, you, you you spread the love, and you're not doing it to try to prove the law or anything else. It's look. He, he's not happy. I'm going to imagine he is happy. Look, they're, they're shivering in the cold. I'm going to give them my coat. I'm going to imagine them all happy. You know, and that everything's going to be all right. Don't give them your coat. That's your last coat. Well, so what? I can get another coat. You know, this is what, it, what it's about. Giving. Okay? And, and not being selfish. And not judging. And lately you hear the term, you know, politicized. Everything's been politicized. It's politicized. And what that means is it's in judgment. You're judging. You know, you're judging. You're going to think like us, you're going to think like them. You know, the bad lines are, are being drawn. And there's no bad <laughs> There's no competition. Okay? Stu, really, I really don't like seeing you in pain like that. You know? I really forgive you for showing me that. I know. I know you're not like that. And, you know, it's because you want them to be happy. And in turn, that takes your pain and suffering away, you know? Do you honestly think 
that J. Edgar Hoover enjoyed his life and was happy. Man was tied up six ways to Sunday. You know? And the one man in his life that loved him to bits was tied up six ways to Sunday. But he loved him. No matter what he said or did. You know? And he's the one who twisted up all the intelligence agencies in the United States. We're still dealing with it today. You know? Unraveling that nasty little little spider web that we've made. They're great. They're great. They wanted to play the spy. And they're the good spy. And they do it because they love their country. And they want to make sure everyone's happy, safe, and secure. You know, that's why they do it. Then they get in there and get corrupted by the details. No. 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 It's not like that, guys. It's spy versus spy. It's all good. Sometimes you win. Sometimes they win. <laughs> it's just a game. So, it, it, it's really about coming at it from the love perspective. You, you're you not doing it to prove a point, not you know, trying to keep, keep lists and tracks of what you manifest. You accept that you manifest all the time. That's your life. That's what you're doing. Okay? And the bridge of incidents is your life. You're walking this, this journey of life, manifesting life, expressing life. So what you're doing. God's in your heart. Okay? Divine love surrounds him. Alright? The one in your heart. And you're a cell inside the man. Okay? And God's in him. You're surrounded. And you're made out of. And a part of life. God is life. Okay? And you love. God is love. Okay, so if you take it from a love perspective, you want to alleviate your pain and suffering. No, I'm not crying on this job. No. Or, no, I'm not a crybaby. I'm courageous. I can get through this. I know it's all good. I don't know how it's all going to work out. I just know it's all going to work out great. You know? Everybody's different. She imagined a scene that took her away from where she was, and three months later, she is in the Indian Ocean on an ocean liner enjoying a trip. Okay? There's millions of ways, you know, where you can just leave it up to God by saying, I know it's not going to work out. I know it is. You know, God is my helper. He's helping me right now. I know it's all good. Not gonna cry. I have no fear. Fear is the mind killer. I shall face my fear and let it go through me. You know that that's the same way of saying I'm courageous. I'm brave. You know. So it's you know think about it. It's not the word not. You know you're not. Ah, the negative. You know it's not that. Is negative is judging. Okay, and then piling a story upon it. You know, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, or you will experience it. So I hope this helps. Blessings to you, and thank you. Thank you for being you. Oh, no, not now, not again. Take the planet's about to burn. For God's sake, kiss the girl! Kiss the girl! Oh.